the issue for me is that Stein resists many, many of the ways that we consume writing uh, normally. And it is so, it is so anti-normative that one almost thinks that it's anti everything, but it's partially the things that you want and it's partially not the things you want, by which I mean it seems to be not non-mimetic, but not mimetic either. So it's sort of semi-mimetic. You get words that you recognize, like malachite or milk or something, but you I get didn't recognize Malachite. I had to look it up. <laughs> Words well, you can. Oh recognize. well, you know. <laughs> what can I say? Some of us. Some of us had to. You know, some of us who took geography and were deeply, deeply affected by it. Uh, so it's it is not entirely narrative, but it and it seems it's sort of semi-narrative because there are narrative bits that go along, but it's also not narrative. And the the thing that is quite amazing in terms of repetition or repeating it doesn't repeat. There's no memory. And w one of the things that's the strangest about Stein is that you can read it and then you can reread it and it's as if you never did read it. You can memorize it eventually. Wow. That is the short that, ones, the short that, ones. That is you can, you know, some of us know it well and um, well enough to re retain certain moments of Stein, but the the erasure of memory and the erasure mm. of history in one's reading process is extremely radical. So um, it really pushes against many of the laws or the internalized mechanisms that one has for consuming writing. Wow, just that's, that's a great, thank you.